I think that we can fix a few things in North Carolina because I think we we have uh, we now have a legislature controlled by the Republicans. Um, if we can persuade the new Republican member to vote with us. Um, but these are statutory changes that we could get done in North Carolina to protect against any of this private money. Because I promise you, Stacey Abrams has been in North Carolina, and we need to make sure that that money is not flowing into Mecklenburg, Durham, and Wake counties. So we need to, we need to be looking at what are these college campus locations in Poland? What is this young people uh, effort that they do? They, they basically put the polling place next to the student dorm, so they just have to roll out of bed and go back to bed. Um, and we need to build strong election integrity task forces in those counties. <laughs> Virginia, we have a great task force uh, in every county in Virginia, and we have a great statewide coalition. They, the governor just signed a bill yesterday that get, does away with signatures on absentee ballot applications and ballots, and now it has to be the last four digits of the social security number and a birth year. And we need to make sure that there's transparency and people are watching and verifying. That makes Virginia back in play, frankly, uh, to be able to have some authentication. And again, having first day in-person voting campaigns. Uh, Wisconsin is a big problem because of the first day, because of the polling locations on college campuses. There are 501c3s. Their goal for the Supreme Court race was to turn out 240,000 college students in that Supreme Court race. And we don't have anything like that, and we need to figure out how to do that and how to combat that. So, yes. Yeah, if we do not control the state house as the governorship, aren't we just no, no, I don't think so. Because the thing, so in the states where we can make changes in the law, like North Carolina, I hope that we will be able to plug some vulnerabilities there. Uh, but most of these are, it's just taking what, you know, we're kind of stuck with the hold hand. And uh, we'll see what happens in Virginia this fall. If we, if the Republicans are able to hold the state house and, and reclaim the state senate, then maybe it's possible to get rid of 45 days of early voting in Virginia. 45 days. Do you know how hard it is to have observers be able to watch for that long a period? I mean, there are several things that they can do. They can get rid of same-day registration, but they can't do that now because the Democrats still hold the state Senate. But I just remind everybody that having people involved, engaged, and overseeing all of that in 2021 in Virginia made all the difference, even though it was still controlled by Democrats in every office. 